Now, we know that a lot of you are ultimately divided on the proclivity of the legendary paranormal investigative duo Ed and Lorraine Warren, the husband and wife pair that have cemented themselves as the modern image of ghost hunting and paranormal investigation across the western world. So much so that they've spawned an entire franchise of horror films and literature based upon their alleged ghostly experiences and whether you believe them or not is a different story because there's one thing that's undeniable, it's interesting. An idea that sparks across our collective consciousness that perhaps beyond this life lies something more. Well fortunately for us they are not the only ones throughout history who have made it their lives work to chase ghosts and ghouls through the thicket. So let's take a look shall we. Hello horror fans and welcome back to the scariest channel on youtube, top 5 scary videos. As always I will be your horror host Jack Finch as we curiously take a look at the top 5 most famous ghost hunters in paranormal history. Roll the clip. For those of you that don't know, that clip was of course from the 1973 horror masterpiece The Exorcist. I thought the mood was rather fitting. <laughs> Kicking off at number 5, William Seabrook. Born William Beulah Seabrook on February 22nd 1884 in Westminster, Maryland, this guy led a pretty interesting life to say the least. A cultist, explorer, world traveller and even Cannibal. William Seabrook cemented himself as a renowned figure of paranormal intrigue, claiming that his thirst for the supernatural was inspired by his grandmother Piney, an opium addict, child of nature and a witch. Seabrook established himself as a renegade journalist travelling the globe and experiencing the spiritual cultures of far flung worlds. It was in Haiti though that Seabrook gained such recognition in the world of the occult and pursuit of the paranormal. While researching his book The Magic Island which is also largely responsible for introducing the word zombie into the English lexicon, Seabrook developed a fascination with Haitian voodoo and communing with spirits which would later become his life's work. Also The Magic Island directly inspired the 1932 film White Zombie by Victor Halperin which is widely considered to be the first ever zombie movie and the birth of the zombie genre. Cheers buddy. Coming in at number 4, Carlos Osis. Which is a great name right? Roll straight off the tongue. Born on the 26th of December 1917 in Riga, Latvia, Carlos Osis is perhaps one of the most notable psychologists to dive deep into the rabbit hole of ESP research or extrasensory perception. Second sight, visions, precognition, communing with the dead. Whatever you want to call it, Carlos Osis laid the foundation of what was then known as deathbed visions. First studied by British physicist and founder of the Society for Psychical Research. William Fletcher Barrett. Laid out in his book At the Hour of Death, Carlos Osis spent his life examining life after death scenarios alongside the possibility of using this study to communicate with the dead. Alongside his fellow parapsychologist Erlander Haraldson, Osis conducted his most important research between 1959 and 1973 when his research paper was finally published by the American Society for Psychical Research in which the pair claimed that deathbed visions occurred in over 50% percent of the studied population. Carlos Osis lived to the ripe age of 80 and up until 1997 he was the president of the Parapsychological Association investigating numerous claims of ghost and poltergeist activity across the United States. Next up at number 3, Frederick Bly Bond. Born on the 30th of June 1864 in Marlborough, Wiltshire, Frederick Bly was actually a renowned architect, illustrator and archaeologist before he was a psychic researcher. Throughout his career as an architect no one was really aware that Bly was deeply invested into the world of spiritualism and the investigation of the paranormal that was emerging throughout the early 1900s and would regularly attend seances and visit mediums in an effort to communicate with ghosts. It wasn't until 1907 when he was hired to manage excavations in and around Glastonbury Abbey that his true motivations began to manifest. Unknown to his employers, Frederick Bly was convinced that Glastonbury Abbey and Anglo-Saxon Benedictine Monastery from the 7th century had been built according to the specifications of sacred geometry and therefore provided a ley line for communication with the dead. Well, his employers didn't like that thought and he lost his job. But Frederick Bly Bond spent the rest of his life dedicated to paranormal research, becoming a member of the American Society for Psychical Research and exploring the realm of psychic archaeology. Swinging in at number 2, Montague Summers. 
and a man who led a very, very, very intriguing life to say the least. Born on the 10th of April 1880 in Clifton, Bristol, Augustus Montague Summers was essentially a self-styled medieval witch hunter and vampirologist dedicated to chronicling the dark forces and supernatural occurrences of the western world. Oh, and also he was a priest. Let's not beat around the bush, old Montague Summers was a pretty eccentric dude and he was criticised and mocked by many of his contemporaries for his proficiency to dress in a black cassock and cloak, buckled shoes and shovel hat, parading himself around 1920s England, clutching tomes on vampirism. However, the reason that he makes this list is for his decision to translate the 15th century witch hunter's manual, Malleus Maleficarum, also known as the Hammer of Witches, into English in 1928. He spent the entirety of his life producing works of literature such as witchcraft and black magic, the werewolf in law and legend, and the vampire, his kith and kin, which greatly helped to lend credence to the idea that folk legends, paranormal investigation and the practice of the supernatural were worthy of academic study. And finally our number one spot, Harry Price. A guy that was just as likely to punch a ghost in the face as he would a fraudulent spiritual medium. Harry Price was the living equivalent of Harry Dresden without the magic. Born in London in 1881, he was a ghost hunter extraordinaire, making a career out of exposing fake psychics and spiritualist mediums that were sweeping across the western world at the time, yet his all-consuming passion and life work was the investigation of paranormal phenomena and he approached it with great capability while debunking the fraudulent around him. His first major case came in 1922 when he exposed the spirit photographer William Hope as a fraud and later would expose the likes of Eileen J. Garrett, Frederick Rick Munnings, Frank Decker and Rudy Schneider, all of which proved to add credence and credibility to his own paranormal investigations. The most famous being his publicised investigation of the Borley Rectory in Essex, which at the time was considered the most haunted building in England. Still to this day, Harry Price is considered one of the most valuable and genuine researchers of paranormal occurrences throughout the modern age. Good job, Harry. Well, there we have it, horror fans, our top five most famous ghost hunters in paranormal history. Let us know your thoughts in the comment box down below. Before we depart, though, let's take a look at some of your more creative comments from over the past few days. Akash Guduri says, What did you lot think about Hereditary? I truly enjoyed it. It levels like The Exorcist for originality. In my opinion, great film. And I've got to 100% agree, Akash. Hereditary had that sense that not every horror movie manages to capture. It's like that old adage, you've either got it or you don't. And Hereditary had it. That same sick feeling you get in the bottom of your gut when watching really, really good horror cinema. Yeah. Hereditary was great. Stargazer says, love your videos. I just subbed not long ago and I've been binging your vids ever since. Also, I love to write and I've been thinking about putting together a horror short, any topic recommendations, anyone. Well, Stargazer, we're glad to have you on board and I'm glad to hear that you've got a passion for horror fiction. Here's one. Why don't you do a horror short on a YouTube host that every time their videos are uploaded, it actually uploads a clone that slowly realises that they're trapped in their own video and curse for eternity to try and get out. Wait a minute. How long have I been here? Well, unfortunately, folks, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Cheers for sticking around all the way till the end. If you're a fan of this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe bell, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. As always, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching Top 5 Scary Videos, and until next time, you take it easy.